Welcome to another Sugar High News Flash. I'm PA David, I'm a board certified endocrine and diabetes PA, and Sugar High is a place where you can come for generalized information on diabetes, and these news flashes are updates in research, developments, and diabetes management. Today's Sugar High News Flash is all about the medication Stiglatro. Results of a clinical trial called the Virtus CV trial have finally been released. The Virtus CV trial tested the cardiovascular safety of the medication Stiglatro in patients with established atherosclerotic heart disease. In the United States, every new diabetes drug has been required to conduct a dedicated clinical trial in order to prove that the medication does not cause an unacceptable increase in the risk in cardiovascular safety. This study was the last such study released on the four medications in the SGLT2 category that we have available for use in the United States. The first study on a medication in this category was on the medication Jardians. That study, called the Empereg study, caused a lot of excitement when it came out because not only did it prove that Jardians does not increase cardiovascular risk, it was actually shown to reduce the chance of cardiovascular death and any cause mortality, as well as hospitalization for heart failure. That study was followed by a clinical trial that tested Invokana, and that medication was also shown to reduce the chance of cardiovascular death, hospitalization for heart failure, and it reduced the chance of chronic kidney disease progression. Farziga's study came shortly after, and it also showed a significant reduction in the risk for hospitalization from heart failure and progression of chronic kidney disease. Well, you ready for the results? The results of the Virtus CV trial show that while Stiglatro did not increase the cardiovascular harm, it didn't show any extra benefit in terms of reducing the chance of cardiovascular death or progression of chronic kidney disease. They did see a reduction in heart failure hospitalization, but this was more of a side observation rather than being a pre-specified hypothesis of the study. This is actually really interesting because ever since some of these medications started showing some extra benefits above and beyond just reducing A1C, the question has sort of remained about whether this is like a, what we call a class effect where all the medicines in that category do the same thing or if there were some individual differences between one drug and another. The fact that Stiglatro failed to show any statistically significant reduction in cardiovascular risk or benefit to the kidneys kind of suggests and gives a little bit of credence to the idea that there may be some difference between one medication and another. Now, please don't take this information out of context and stop taking any medication that you might be on. This is just news and the results of one clinical trial. Stiglatro is still a very effective medication in treating diabetes. But it's interesting because the more data that becomes available, the more we learn about the medications that we use to treat diabetes every single day. Full study results will be presented in a couple of weeks at the 2020 Virtual American Diabetes Association 80th Scientific Sessions. Thanks for tuning into this Sugar High News Flash. I hope that you found this information helpful and interesting. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe so that you can keep current on everything that's new and coming up in diabetes management. I'll see you soon in the next video.